here at an oil rig being drilled in Ontario, which is one of many 27,000 wells that have been drilled to collect data and geological information to make the subsurface map of Ontario, which you're about to see. Looking north from over Lake Erie, the model highlights the different ages of the bedrock. The sedimentary rock formations are categorized by age into geologic periods. Here we see the sedimentary rock of the Devonian, Silurian, or Division, and Cambrian. Turn counterclockwise to see an exploded view of the model. Devonian aged rocks have been mostly colored green in the model and are the youngest bedrocks in Ontario, dating from 360 to 419 million years old. The first commercial oil production in Ontario was from these rocks. Silurian age rocks are yellow and bright pink in the model and range in age from 420 to 444 million years old. These rocks host aquifers that supply groundwater. Ordovician age rocks have a dark color in the model and range in age from 445 to 485 million years old. These rocks are observed at surface east of the Niagara Escarpment. Cambrian rocks are colored light purple and can be 486 to possibly 540 million years old. They sit on the light pink rocks of the Canadian Shield that are over a billion years old. Let's explore the subsurface of the Devonian units by removing a bedrock core of 30 kilometers in diameter to see what we can find below in Lambton County. The glowing green shape in the center of the cylinder is the first oil pool discovered in Ontario. The oil springs pool was discovered in 1858 at the bottom of a hand dug well that has produced for over 160 years. From inside the borehole you can observe abrupt vertical changes in the rock formations in front and to your left. These are faults cut by the core. Rocks of the Lockport group are an important freshwater aquifer for the cities of Cambridge and Guelph. Let's remove the Lockport group from the model and fly between the bedrock layers into the remaining cavern as if we were a drop of water. Entering the open space formed by removing the Lockport group, you are 150 meters below ground level, and the Lockport has a thickness of 100 meters. Flying westward and deeper, the Lockport thins to 30 meters. You are now 550 meters below surface. If you follow this rock formation back to surface, you would exit the model west of the Niagara Escarpment, like here in Alora Gorge, northwest of the city of Guelph. This gorge you are standing in highlights how water shapes Guelph formation rocks at the surface, and the model helps geologists tell the story of what happens to these rocks underground. Information about these rocks and the resources they contain is available from the Oil, Gas and Salt Resources Library in London, Ontario.